How do you make the audience actively participate in a whodunit? Or rather, can you make the audience feel like the detective? Let's take a look at how Knives Out films the truth using knives and character-focused camera movement, framing, and blocking from the POV of Benoit Blanc. Let's start with Blanc's method. In this scene, Blanc lays out pretty clear how he works. I anticipate the terminus of gravity's rainbow. It describes the path of a projectile determined by natural law. Et voila, my method. I observe the facts without biases of the head or heart. I determine the arc's path, stroll leisurely to its terminus, and the truth falls at my feet. So let's see how that visually translates. The first time we meet Benoit Blanc, he's quietly tucked in the right of the frame. Here we establish Blanc's visual journey to the truth. To figure out this mystery, he needs to move from right to left. Why right to left? There's a theory in film that since we read left to right, seeing a movement right to left will create a negative inference on the eye. It'll imply that it's a difficult journey. Lots of movies use this tactic to introduce their villains as well. Seriously, look how many times a villain is introduced with the movement being right to left. We first call attention to him in this shot. He quietly sits in the background. This is not only because he's observing, but also because Blanc is baiting with just his presence. By getting the family to wonder, and especially when he does, the easy part for him. he's already getting the family to engage with him and give him the information that will tell him who they are. I should also mention that the camera angles vary between characters, but mostly Linda is framed in power positions. She's the most resilient. Her shots are inside the conversation, meaning the camera is placed in the middle of the characters, facing upwards to give the impression of power. You're looking up to her. You can even see here that she isn't falling for his baiting. Are you baiting me, detective? You know he doesn't. For Richard and Joni, the camera is placed outside of the center because they aren't immediate family. Walt is placed in a wider shot because he feels small and nervous about talking to the police. So let's talk about our first camera move, the very basic dolly in. The dolly in is used as Blanc is learning and listening, putting you in the POV of the detective. For Linda, like we said, she's in a power position. For Walt, the camera moves past the police as he begins to feel confident in what he's saying about the publishing company. You're learning the little things that make these people who they are, what makes them proud or insecure. As Blanc engages and figures out people, he moves closer to the camera, usually with a lean forward. He leans forward when he's asking a question that he knows will lead him closer to the truth, which is emphasized for the audience here. me a respectful, quiet, passive observer of the truth. Here's where the Dolly move really begins to take on more meaning. When Blanc moves into the conversation, the camera angle centers in between him and the family. He's closing in on them. As Blanc gets key information, he's shown in this frame, the power position, low angle, large in frame. They are playing his game. He's getting to know these people by reading between the lines, or rather, between the lies. Emphasized with this line. Just trying to get an accurate impression. When we finally end on Joni, he's gotten an accurate impression of the family. Shown here, we combine both of his moves. He leans in and the camera dollies in on him. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry to press, but what kind of mix up? So let's talk about the knives. And I'm gonna be referring to sharp objects as knives as well here, so. Yeah. We first see knives prominently here, in the scenes we were discussing about finding the truth. Johnson does this on purpose to get you to associate the knives with truth. He places sharp objects throughout the story wherever there is key information that will lead this machine to the truth. Here are some. When Richard mentions that Ransom didn't come to the funeral. Excuse me. When Jacob reveals what he overheard in the bathroom. I'm warning you. And the ghost scene. Is there a problem? These are just some examples you can find littered all over the movie. Notice though, every character is framed with the knife because Blanc is learning fragments of the truth, but none of them are framed at its center. The knife is only in the center of the frame three times in this movie. When Harlan says, Ransom, here. When Benoit Blanc figures out the truth and completes his visual journey to the knives, no longer fragmented, and when Ransom attempts to kill Marta. Johnson does this as a way to get the audience to engage with the movie, to get you to feel like the sleuth. Now that's how you get to the point. Shit. This is what it means when they say a director makes decisions. 
These details aren't written into the script. It's up to the director to collaborate with his department heads to give a movie this level of depth. So the next time you're making a film, ask yourself how can you build an association to an item and communicate the feeling of investigation in your camera booths. Thank you so much to Movie Maker Magazine for partnering with us on this video and thank you for watching. If you enjoyed what you heard, please like and subscribe. I don't know how to end I this. Like what do I do? Smash the like button, please. I'm like a Kanye. I'm Micah.